Come inside, don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way. With a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. Yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays. The trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Joel Lane Sugar Biker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2015, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, I hope you are following along on a calendar that I have at TrailerParkChristmas.com, and I see today that it says Apple Cider Pound Cake. Now, I love some apple cider. I will pick it up on the side of the road, even though I know it probably has worms in it. I don't know. They squash it up. At the store, I'm sure it's a little bit more different, and it is a little bit expensive on your budget because we all know that an apple costs like 2 or $3 and a snack cake like 99 cents, and who knows how many apples is in this apple cider. But anyway, we are going to make a cidered up pound cake. A pound cake has lots of eggs in it, so it's a really dense cake. We're going to put a glaze on it. It's my apple cider pound cake up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2015. It's going to be a great holiday tradition. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my apple cider pound cake is really simple. Today I'm using my stand mixer, but you could probably mix this by hand with some success. But this is actually a complicated one that uses lots of sugar, lots of egg, and lots of butter. And it needs to be whipped around quite a bit to get that nice pound cake texture. So that's why I'm using the stand mixer. What I'm going to do is take a cup of softened butter and place it in the mixer. And that's two sticks of butter over here in the United States. I don't know what it is overseas so you might have to look that up but make sure it's a cup of butter and make sure you can get it open wow well how about it just mess up right now there we go don't get the wrapper in there that would not be a delightful holiday present for someone there we go and today we're using vegetable shortening i know that's bad for you too but whatever and i've got a half cup of that let's go ahead and put that in there and we're going to mix this around. It's going to take about two minutes to get nice and creamy. So go ahead and mix this around until that happens. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that you got that all creamy, this is where I'm going to lose all the healthy people because you're going to be shocked. Now I'm going to add three and one-fourth cup of granulated sugar a little bit at a time. Yes, I know that's a lot, but this cake is a delight. And you're just going to try it, and you're going to like it, unless you're diabetic. So don't try it then. But this is a luxury. You can try it, just a little piece of it. It really is good. So let me go ahead and add this sugar. Okay, and we're back. And if I haven't lost all the healthy people, now I am. Because now I'm going to add six eggs. Yes, that's right six eggs but one at a time and we're going to mix it up just a little bit until the yellow goes away and add the next egg and mix it again until we get six eggs into the mixture. I'll check back with you after I do that in just a moment. Okay next up we're going to get our dry ingredients together and this is three cups and a three-fourth cup of all-purpose flour and we're just going to mix this around. This is a half teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to add that right on into that flour. And this is a half teaspoon of salt. That goes right on in there. So let's go ahead and add that right on in there. Just like that. A half teaspoon of allspice. This gives it some more flavor. So let's go ahead and add that to the flour mixture. We need a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and I like the Saigon cinnamon. Let's go ahead and add that right on into the flour mixture. And then we have a half teaspoon of nutmeg, and that really adds the holiday flavor. So just go ahead and mix this around so that it is kind of sifted. You could use one of the sifter too 
if you had one. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Welcome back. I've got the dry ingredients here in a separate container. And then I have a cup of the apple cider right here. Now if that butter sugar and all that other goodness and eggs in the ingredients didn't give it a good taste, this will give it a kick. Now we're going to add this slowly to the mixture as it's mixing until it's well mixed together. So I'll check back with you in just a moment while I'm doing that. Okay, now that you got that mostly mixed up, you're going to add about a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. You know I don't measure that because vanilla is good. So go ahead and mix that in. Okay, welcome back. Now for the apple cider pancake, you're going to need a two pan and that's the one that comes apart like that. I've sprayed it with some butter spray and put some flour around it. Now we're going to dump in the batter so it's nice and evenly spread around the tube just like they got. There we go. Make sure you get all that nice batter and it's nice and thick because we use lots of sugar and lots of butter. This one's going to have a glaze which we're going to make after it comes out of the oven and you can pretty much put any kind of glaze that you want on it like a vanilla glaze but ours is kind of like a caramel glaze that we're going to do today and make sure you get all that batter now this is going to take about an hour and a half in the oven and it's going to bake up all nice so you get the last bit of batter there and you can just kind of shake it just like that so let's go ahead and set our timer for about an hour and a half and i'll check back with you in just a moment Welcome back. Making my buttermilk caramel glaze for the apple cider pound cake is really simple. And I have one fourth cup of butter right here and I melted it down in a saucepan. What I need is one fourth teaspoon of baking soda so we're just going to add that right on in there. And now I'm going to add, this is one half cup of sugar right on in there. And then I use buttermilk. You could use regular milk, but I just like the taste of buttermilk. And this is one fourth cup of that. And then you need one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I don't measure that, so we'll just add that right on in there. And then you use light corn syrup. And that's one and a half tablespoons. And I don't really measure that, so we'll just add that. We're gonna bring this up to a boil. And once it's boiling, we're gonna reduce the heat to medium and cook it for about 10 minutes and then it's going to be ready to glaze our apple cider pound cake. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my apple cider pound cake. Now I know the pound part probably means to your thighs because this has eggs and sugar and butter and all the stuff that's not good for you around the holidays. But you can splurge every now and then and it has the taste of apple cider. And we made a quick caramel glaze to go on top but you can certainly put any kind of glaze that you want or just eat it on its own. But I can't wait to get a piece of this and give it a try. Mmm, that flavor is just like the holidays and it has that pound cake texture and like an angel food cake and wow, that is a luxury and it was so easy to make too and I hope you get a chance to make my apple cider pound cake and if you do, Send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm at Jolene's Trailer there. And, of course, download the calendar because we've got all sorts of things coming up. Because I see tomorrow that we're doing a recap from the week. I'm going to tell you all about behind the scenes about all the recipes and what's been going on here with Trailer Park Christmas. Hit that big old subscribe button. I love spending the holidays with you. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow Watch out for that big tornado Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide
Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.